Hey, everybody. It is Ed. Okay. I was at my parents' house last weekend and was uh, going through some things and came across something that I couldn't believe it when I found it. And, uh, well, I guess without even further talking, may as well just show you. I have here in my hand an original 1971 release cassette tape of Elvis Presley, Elvis Country. I found this, I couldn't believe it. I thought that all of these were gone. Because <laughs> I know my father had a, quite the collection of, of Elvis cassettes, all original releases, uh, but I do know also, and, and eight tracks as well, but um, they, you know, pretty much have been gone for about 20 years at this point. So when I came across this, uh, it was, it was um, it, a straggler, if you will, in with other cassettes, more modern ones. It just must have gotten mixed in. But um, yeah, so I'll show you what the original inserts looked like. And again, another good way or to tell that its original has the sticker on the top which they didn't do for very long from what I understand. Here's the inside advertising other Elvis cassettes. Should be focused, pause it. You can read what they have. Had Elvis TV special, Speedway, Elvis Gold Records, Volume 4, Clambake, <laughs> Elvis Gold Records, Paradise Wine Style, GI Blues, Elvis for Everyone. Elvis Gold Records, Volume 3, Blue Hawaii, Go uh, Girl Happy, Something for Everybody. From Elvis in Memphis, How Great Thou Art, His Hand in Mine. I remember from Elvis in Memphis also. Wish we still had that one. And the A-Track as well in the original um, cover that wasn't a die cut. It was the album cover on the A-Track. All right, but uh, I thought it would be fun to throw this in the cassette player because I haven't done it yet. And let us see if it does play. You can see here that the... Uh, actually, no. I thought the label is ripped, but just the way that they did the wording all right so that's side two and this is side one it is rewound that that is the one thing i did i did throw it in to rewind it but that's all i did so let's throw it in i'm going to do little snippets and well hopefully it plays let's see what happens or it snaps we will find out and we will find out right now Okay, it sounds a little warbly, but let's go a little bit more forward. Let's see what we got. Doesn't sound uh, ideal, but it is playing. All right, let's go a little bit more. Let's go a little bit more and let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hold on. Let's get between songs. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, it does look like it plays. Hold on. Let's take it out. Let's see if there's anything on the side two at this point. There it is. Oh no! Oh no! It stopped playing. That cannot be good. All right. Well, the tape is still intact, so. But it did stop playing on its own. All right, so here we go. Yeah, so our little test is at this point, it did appear to still play, although not in uh, ideal playback that you would want to listen to. But yeah, nice little novelty to have and come across, especially since it is definitely one of my favorite albums. I have the A-Track hanging on the wall as well. And uh, of course I have the original album and yeah, and CDs and all that other good stuff. All right, but yeah, does it play? Yes, it does play. Will I be playing it? No, I will not. No reason to. All right, but uh, I appreciate you watching. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. 
And be good to yourselves, good to each other. Take care, everybody.